Here's a tip for you. When you're moving chickens from into their coop, put them in a tote that has a lid on it that is solid collar because once they're inside of dark, they immediately go to sleep and it calms them down. I have no idea where my camera mount is at, but I do have the chickens in a tote. Walking down to the chicken coop, these are the last two. I take them down in like groups of three or four just so they don't get too excited they're by themselves once they get there and uh they will uh struggle to go in to the tote but once they're in there and you close the lid and it's dark they they just quiet right down because they literally fall asleep <laughs> and then i just bring them over to the door which I'm gonna have to set this down more than likely. Set the phone down. Uh, I think I'll try and take and uh, set the phone on this board. I'm not sure what you'll be able to see. Let's check it out. Probably not the best camera angle, but best I can do. So I take the tote inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, four, yeah, there's nine. Then the last two. Come on. You're all right. And then you just set them down. There's always got to be one that wants to be kind of a pain in the butt. I've already got their water and their food set up. So generally... So generally, you should bring them down and kind of condition them to the outside. But I'll be honest with you, I don't always do that. Usually once I bring them out, they stay out. What I will do is I will come down here tonight, make sure they made it into the chicken coop and they didn't get locked out. And I'll also check on them to make sure they're eating and drinking water. But you know, once they're outside, they just go into being chickens. They literally will just scratch and eat bugs and grass and they are happy as a lark right now. So even though it seems like they're going to like give you a hard time about going outside, once they're out there, they're perfectly fine with it. Look, already trying to see, like, can I get up there? There's a Bruce bar right there. I bet I can get up there. If I leave and come back in 30 minutes, every one of them will be up on this bar. My other, every, every, all the chickens I've had over the years, that's where they like it, on that bar right there. guys all better what they're actually doing they are literally setting up their pecking order so that's kind of how they do they buff them their chests up and they kind of like flock each other and all that fun stuff usually the first two or three days they're outside, they do just fine on their own, except for going actually into the coop. You almost always have to come out here, chase them down. Some of them will go in, but there's always that one or two that don't. Like they don't figure it out, but you got to put them in there for two or three nights, and then they finally figure out, oh, this is where I'm supposed to go to sleep. And then they'll start doing it on their own. But usually for like the first week or two they're outside, I check on them every single night. You can see they are fully feathered now, including their head feathers, which are the last ones that come in. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see that. 
So they now got their head feathers. A couple of them still got a little bit of the fray, but they're good enough now where they're not going to freeze to death or anything like that. So even though we got some nights coming up or they're going to get down in like the high 30s, low 40s, they'll be just fine now. Their head feathers, like I said, are the last ones to come in. That first one I zoomed in on still had a little bit of peach fuzz, but they're, they're good to go. Then it's just waiting another about four to five months for them to start laying eggs. And when they start laying eggs, I'll show you my method of doing dual breed chickens, raising chickens for both meat and eggs. It's very efficient, very little work, and uh, you always have enough chickens in an incubator pretty much most of the time where even if something were to get one of my chickens, I'm still going to have one hatching in, you know, three weeks or so. So, um, what I do on my meat birds, I actually keep them separate from the egg layers in another part of the property. And then uh, when they're a suitable size to uh, call, I just go ahead and call them all in one day. But uh, I keep a rotation going. And I'll show you how that's done. Very efficient way of doing it. You know, when you have, there we go, first one already up there. Once one's up there, they're all going to be up there. But, so... It thinks I'm talking to him. Like, hey, what are you doing, Ed? Who are you talking to? Huh? You like this better out here? Way more room, not so crowded? Huh? You like this? Anyways, I forgot what I was talking about. I'll just go ahead and end this here because I'm going to end up rattling on. But uh, the chickens are now out in the coop. And I got everything done on the coop I wanted to get done. I got the hardware cloth all the way around, top to bottom. I have the automatic door open. And I have the electric fence set back up and tested because it wasn't hooked up for like a year. The battery was still good. It still works. Everything is good to go. So I'll go ahead and uh, leave the chickens be. And I might add some more footage of the chickens out here. But... Uh, Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.